How's everybody doing tonight? Or this morning, I mean, wow, this afternoon, I guess. I already messed up. Look at that. <laughs> uh, well, that's that's good. I got people to laugh and uh, everything. Uh, well, I'm here to do something positive for my life for um, many. Okay. Um, I'm here to do something positive in my life, not just like graduate high school. Um, there's not so many positive things that I have in my life. Um, so this is a great opportunity for me today. Um, and I'm going to share a basic t testimony of my life um, and why I'm getting baptized today. Um, so here it goes. Hi, my name is Derek, and this is my testimony. One of our core values is that lost people matter to God, and he wants them found. And I was definitely lost. I was living in the world full of sin and not having a real relationship with my dad. After my parents got divorced when I was 12 years old, I bought into the world. I thought that receiving love was about <clears throat> trying to buy my friends, which leads me to this. I was injured at two jobs and got two settlements. And trying to be positive, I tried to leave my life the way I thought it was good enough for me to be happy. So I got a, myself an apartment with a roommate that I trusted. Down the line, I f found out that he was affiliated with a gang. So I had an apartment, and with my money, I also bought myself a car. And then trying to buy my friends by buying them drinks at the bar. <clears throat> Since that was what I thought was good. I had a lot of friends, and they thought I was cool which then I realized I was wrong, and through that I came to find out there was a much deeper problem within me. I found out that I became addicted to alcohol, and gaining the friends I thought were there for, for me, finding out that they really weren't there at all. So not only did I destroy my relationship with my family and friends, I ended up becoming broke as well. Now my family and best friend tried to tell me where I was gonna end up if I continued down the same path. Me being a prideful person, I said, how are you going to tell me how to live my life? Well, here I go again, getting kicked out. So I, I figured something had to give, so God knew what I needed, and put a friend in my life and helped get a jump start. I stayed with him for two weeks. He said that there's this place called America's Keswick. On the morning of the fourth day uh, into the program, I was doing a memory verse, and one of the disciples asked me if I had Jesus in my life and if I was going to heaven. And I said, I really don't know. Um, so I, I, uh, he said, I don't think so either, actually. <laughs> um, so he said, would you like Jesus in your life? And I said, yeah, uh, thinking that was the answer. So he went around, um, asked me to come around into the window, close the window, turn down the lights, and I accepted God into my life the fourth day, into the program. <clears throat> Throughout my stay, God started to work out those issues that I did not want to deal with. But I still did not want to give up one issue, and that was being a prideful person. Also manipulating situations to get my way. So as time went by, four and a half months later, I, asked to I, I got asked to leave. Because they felt like I was not receiving what I was supposed to get out of this program. I was disappointed in myself again. I have failed. So at this time, not having a thought of where I was going because I was kicked out of my house, <clears throat> God put another person in my life to continue to get the help that I knew I needed to stay focused and really get my life on track. And that was coming to building on the rock and coming to the men and nails. I was getting ready to come the, uh, to go to get more help I told my friend I can handle this uh, Juan the kitchen manager from Keswick I can handle this on my own so I left my friend Juan and said no to God again and during this time I ended up leading to meet up with the same friends and started to drink again and in all this God was right there and said I thought you were going to help so the uh, conviction finally got to me three weeks later and I finally said I really need to get right with my life. So then I called Pastor Nate again and said, I really need help, and I'm sorry I didn't come, the opportunity, but now I am ready to live my life with God and get help that I need and say yes. So being here at Building on the Rock and in the men's house, I have learned how to build uh, friendships with brothers and sisters in Christ to help me walk with God. 
and also start to rebuild relationships with my family again. Not only that, with my dad. I'm starting to serve in different ministries. So far, I am in children's church, a children's ministry, and I'm getting the opportunity to make Jesus known with my friends and family. I'm also getting many opportunities to make Jesus known by sharing with friends and family what God is doing in my life and inviting them to church today. Hi, Mom. Hi, sister. <laughs> All the other outreach things to do at Building on the Rock. I'm growing stronger with my walk with God, attending different Bible study, prayer shifts, getting plugged into the church, being a servant of God, and giving back, not just taking things like I've been doing my whole entire life. So thank you for giving me this opportunity to share my testimony with you guys. I hope that this has helped you to realize that there's no other way than living for God living for God and letting him live in you, as Galatians 2.20 says. I have been crucified with Christ. It's no longer I that lives, but Christ that lives in me. So I want to be a light in this world and let my light shine as bright as everyone can see. Thank you.